What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 166 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is J Mac Gaming. Hello, everybody. You may be wondering, why is this one episode 166? Why did it go Nitro Raw Thunder for a couple weeks? Uh, and now it's going back to don't. Raw Nitro Thunder. Uh, don't ask. All right, the game, the game, it's here. All right, it's it it gives us what it gives us, and we just run with it. All right. We get what we get, and you don't throw a fit. That's what my parents yeah. used to say to me on you Christmas. You don't like what you like. You like what I tell you to like. Vince McMahon, 2019. All right. Are you ready for this Monday Night Raw? Oh, I am so ready are for this Monday you, Night Raw. Are you ready? That's a pretty decent Triple H impression, to be honest. That was all right. All right. That was all right. right. Let's book the show. I can't hear it, so. Uh. <laughs> it's, better go, it's better than when we just go, ugh. Uh, this <laughs> sounds like someone in a porno. <laughs> One night in chat. <laughs> Okay, Chad, an abysmal pre-show match. Tell me about this. In an abysmal pre-show match, the Midnight Cannonball Mark Henry defeated Kid Cash Me Outside. How about that? In an A59 with the Death From Above. Yeah, you're getting a cease and desist, brother. It doesn't matter because your team's breaking up. That's why we're pushing it. That's true. Maybe I should maybe I should start pushing uh, the other member of Death From Above is Mark Henry. <laughs> the world's strongest man, Savio Vega. The world's strongest <laughs> man, Savio Vega. <laughs> All right, all right, Chad, I'll remember that, all right? <laughs> and then Big Boss Man. Oh, embarrassing wrestling. Oh, no. I don't think I've seen embarrassing wrestling ever, or at least it's rare. It it did better than the other match. What's, what qualifies as embarrassing wrestling? Like, if, if, if it does better than abysmal. Kurgan. Would you rather be an abysmal wrestler or an embarrassing wrestler? Oh, man, I'd, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the actual show of the night, Vince and Shane. All right, this is the opening angle where Vince and Shane, they go at it word for word. They're just yelling at each other because at WrestleMania, it will be Shane versus Vince. It's going to be crazy. Father versus son. At the biggest stage of them all, on the grand gonna, stage, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna bend you ass. over my. I'm gonna bend you over my knee, pull your pants down, and show you who's daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna make you go out into the woods and find a switch, and when you come back, I'm gonna whoop that high knee, Shane. <laughs> wow. Both. I'm going to make you sit in the corner and think about what you've done. Maybe I'll send you to bed without supper. Ooh, no supper. That's not good. That's not good. Shane McMahon famously loves his supper. Shane McMahon's 142 pounds right now. He needs the supper. He is... <laughs> uh... All right, Chad. Shane McMahon invented a new catchphrase that will likely boost his ability on the microphone. What was it? <laughs> it's supper time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending Shane over to go fight the breakfast club. <laughs> breakfast versus supper. This angle got. <laughs> I ain't just crazy. I'm supper crazy. <laughs> oh man, let's move on to the opening match of the night in a terrible match. Wow, Raw has just gone off the shits lately. Uh, the Brew defeated Snow Gun Inc. in 9.49 when Vampiro pinned El Snow with the nail in the coffin. Chad? Yes. How do you feel? I I feel I feel just fine. Okay. I'm just going to ask you how you feel about this show <laughs> after everything. All right. I will, I will be prepared to have answers for you. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> so Sean Stasiak and Ted DiBiase are backstage. Ted DiBiase is just going over the game plan to take out Ken Shamrock. Because the, at WrestleMania, these two will go at it. Remember, a couple months ago, Ken Shamrock took took Ted De, uh, Sean Stasiak out of business, out of out of action for a couple months. Left him in the hospital, if you, do, if you remember. Remember that? Well, how, how could I forget? 
Sean Stasiak, the biggest rising star in WWF, Ken Shamrock, the most dangerous man on the planet, and he lives up to that name right here because they're talking backstage and out out of the bathroom in the locker room. Ken Shamrock comes on and he's got a chair and he hits Ted DiBiase with it, and then he hits Sean Stasiak and he just yells. Aah! And then he says, "I miss Vader." <laughs> Are you going to ask me how I feel about that? Yeah, because he stole Vader. That's how he feels. <laughs> oh. oh, speaking of the, uh, speaking of the, uh, the boys in WMMA, though, they take on the two guys that teamed up and now are part of Vince's guru. It's, it's Mark Mero and Steve Blackman. Black Mero taking on D'Lo and Farouk. And Blackman and Mero get the win in 10-22 when Mero pins Farouk. With a shooting star press, Farouk uh, hasn't won a match in like two months now. He's just having an awful time. <laughs> Damn! Damn! <laughs> Chad, how do you feel about that? Uh, how do I feel about Farouk not winning a match in a month? I f- I feel bad for him. I think I think he's very underrated, and I think he should go to WCW where he would be taken care of. Then we move on to the Undertaker. It's not really this big. Of... <laughs> that very shoot style move. Yeah. <laughs> An MMA group using a fucking shooting star press. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Typical MMA marks. If I see McGregor hit a shooting star press off the cage on Khabib, I will lose my mind. Okay. But we move on to Angle. This this little Angle right here, it's just Angle kidnapping Paul Bearer. Not Angle. The Undertaker kidnapping Paul Bearer. <laughs> Why is Kurt Angle taking Paul Bearer? All right, and then we move on to this match. <laughs> Takamichi Noku, he goes one on one in six days against Mystico for the light heavyweight championship. And right now, he takes on Norman Smiley and hits the Michinoku driver and gets the win. Good for Takamichi Noku. Get a little bit more uh, momentum on his side because he's got the biggest match of his career in six days. <laughs> WrestleMania 15. You're, you're damn right he does. Chad, how do you feel about this? <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this did not good. Uh, Christian was very poor trying to improvise dialogue. That's fair. Christian just can't freestyle. He can't go off the top of the dome. He needs a script. All right, well, Christian just gets in the mic. Remember last week, Edge off screen, uh, in quotation marks, murdered Lexi Fife, who was Christian Cage's girlfriend. And yeah. he's just and he's just in a dark lit room. You can just see his fucking face. And he all oh, it's it's short and to the point, right? Short and to the point. He just says Sunday night I will put an end to Edge. The last two months you've been a burden on my back. I've carried you for far too long. And now it's time to dump you off into the water, you bastard. Punches the camera. <laughs> bah! Bah, bah, bah. Christian and Edge, for the first time, get their hands on each other. I've been trying to keep yeah. these guys away from each other since the breakup at Rumble. They've been. It's the biggest blow off. Man, it's this... gonna be the great. It's gonna be the greatest wrestling match ever. No, it's gonna be the greatest wrestling match ever. And then we get. A, and then we get a little. Uh... Man, Jim Cornette sucks. <laughs> Man, this Dwayne the Rock Johnson is the drizzling shits. <laughs> We're not doing what this. Do think, what do you think about this? About this? 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 Eyebrow raising son of a bitch, Jr. <laughs> I'm not doing it not today. <laughs> this segment deserves color commentary. However, maybe we should look into it. Uh, the angle was just a a look back. Chad, a look back. At the last year, not even the last year, probably the last six months, last seven months, last eight months, where The Rock, you know, he lost at King of the Ring and then just said, I'm done. He left. He needed to go. He, he, he took his ball and went home. He went to go film the movie. He went to go film a movie. Uh, what was the movie called? Chad, do Scorpion you remember? King. Scorp- Scorpion King. No, it was called The Scorpion Queen. Okay, it was before oh. his time. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. 
Revolutionary role. Revolutionary, uh, where he killed the queen and became the king in the next movie. That's what happens. Yes, of course. It's the the, the straight to VHS um, prequel. So the Rock, he left for a little bit. He came back and he became. He just he came back on that first Raw of January and said, "I'm I'm." I'm going into the Rumble. I'm winning the Rumble at number one, and I'm be- I'm coming back for that world championship. And he did just that. He did everything he said he was going to do. The Rock, it's it's because he's the best. The Rock, can he come over the fact that he just came short last year at the WrestleMania against Stone Cold? Can he do it this year? Can he beat Stone Cold in the main event of WrestleMania in f- six days, Chad? gonna be the uh, best match of the save so far do you do you want to do you want to have my honest opinion on that not yet we'll have it right before we book oh. wrestlemania okay. oh, right. well, i can't wait to give it to you all right we move on to the co or the, well, not even the co-main event but kurt angle billy gunn in 84 kurt angle part of the american heartbreakers billy gunn new age outlaws those two tag teams go at it in six days and they have this little single match last week we saw road dog beat Shawn Michaels, which is a crazy sentence to say. That's besides <laughs> the point. Um, so, yeah, we had that match go on. And then we move on to the next. The uh, And then all four of the guys in that, uh, this little match, they start brawling. Billy Gunn performed fo- poorly. How do you how do? You do he, just, he did those AEW punches with the Dark Order or whatever. They just couldn't hit the dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, not even close. All right, not even close. I don't remember who was a, who it was, but that happened. Uh, we move on. And Jim Cornette is ripping him the entire time. Cornette's that blonde son of a bitch can't even land a hit. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett in the ring, and all he says was, or not even in the ring, he's backstage. He says, six days, you guys better have an opponent for me, or I'm leaving the WWF. That's it. Last week he said, "If I've been just sitting here defending my titles against fucking jobbers and no names from WCW, it's it's bananas." All right, I am Jeff Jarrett. I am the most entertaining wrestler in the world. My dad runs TNA right now. Give me some competition. So he wants some competition at WrestleMania, an open challenge. Who will it be? Put your predictions in the chat. I think it's going to be uh, his dad. Do you think Jerry Jarrett's going to come back from TNA right now and fight Jeff? <laughs> I'm going to bend you over my knee, Jeff. Pull your pants down and give you a spanking. All right. Our co-main <laughs> event of the night. Booker T and Bam Bam Bigelow. Booker T gets the Harlem hangover. Gets the win. 14-52. Chad, I know you got some words about this match. Yeah, you know, uh, let's see if he uh, is uh, sober after the match. No, he's fine. Got his shit together after WCW. See? Perfect. Well, well, you know what? Good for him. I'm, listen, if that's what it took, if a new change of scenery, I, I, I'm more worried about Booker T, the human, than, than I am WCW. So. And on our main event, we had champion versus champion. The IC belt goes against the world heavyweight champion in an exceptional match. Owen Hart drew with Stone Cold following a double disqualification when Triple H and The Rock came out and intact their specific the respective guys are going after and that right there is the go home show to wrestlemania an 86 perfect we build the hype forward a 90 will be the last angle last match going into the biggest show of the night our biggest show of the year biggest show of this two year three year long series oh god i'm so stoked for it Oh, boy. So that was episode 166. Chad, how do you feel about this Raw? I think it was a good Raw. I, I too, am very excited for WrestleMania. I think it's going to be a good show. I think it's going to be the second best show of the night. Mm, That's crazy because we run Rising Sun on a Saturday, remember? Oh, right. So it'll be the best show. It'll be the second second best show of the weekend. Yeah, you like Ring of Honor when they run on Saturdays to compete against Mania. You're the, <laughs> you're the it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great when we do this in like modern times and like I'm running Rising Sun from like Los Angeles for like the, the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I think the problem with Rising Sun is we'll talk about that night show. 166. We'll see you for 167. Um, Monday night night show. We'll do it. See ya.